I'm not gonna lie, I've got a bit of a man crush on this bloke. <laughs> <laughs> amazing place, absolutely amazing. Day one, number one. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Grizzly and Bear Overland in Taiwan. After some time spent in the city of Taishun catching up on work, this week we are in Kaohsiung region. There are three hot springs in this area. The first one can be accessible by anyone. The second one can be reached by experienced off-road drivers. And the third hot spring is only accessible by foot. Hey, man. hey buddy! Ni hao! Looks like we've got special visitors here. Officially the second four-wheel camper that we've met on this journey. Surprise visit from Anderson and his parents. Anderson is the four-wheel camper dealer in Taiwan. I think this uh, trail is possible not with the camper though. I wouldn't do it with the camper. TD5, huh? TD5, yeah. Oh. yeah. President, <laughs> the big boss here of the Taiwan Land Rover Club. Okay. <laughs> In Taiwan, not necessary. You're traveling for four years. Maybe today. Fungi, see you tomorrow. We're about to do something that I said I wasn't going to do. Just wasn't going to do it today because it's a long weekend here in Taiwan. Super busy. We were going to hike in tomorrow because I wasn't going to remove the camper. We've made the last minute decision together. I said, look, let's just do it. We're going to go for it today. We're going to take the camper off here and we're going to jump in the uh, in the truck and head on down and meet the crew. Where's your drill? My drill's got no batteries. Today it's, uh, there's the batteries right there. We were in the process of taking off the camper as we just explained, last minute decision, we're going to do it. And then behind us, a Toyota Tacoma just rocked up with a four-wheel camper on the back. So right now we have three four-wheel campers together. Grizzly is now removed from Bear. See you soon! See you soon! On more challenging off-road trails, we like to take our time, get out of the car, check the clearance, and move rocks if needed. Yep! This is a vehicle to drive around the world. We have to take care of Bear. We cannot afford any major damage and repairs that could be avoided. But we also want to have fun and having the option to remove a home from the Defender is one of the reasons we choose a four-wheel camper for this journey across the globe. No. No. Cold great neck, have your pick. Oh, the library of souls away. Drop-offs I don't like, that's scary. <laughs> Easy! 
and we left it way too late to do this trail. Four kilometers to go. We're not gonna be able to make it in daylight hours, so we made the decision. We'll leave the truck here. Uh, we got the backpack and we'll just hike it in on foot. We've got a couple of hours of light, so I figured, well, we may as well push on a little bit. The reason why we got recommended not to do it before was also, he said, it's too late, but you need a friend, like you need, which is common sense. And now we've got a buddy should anything happen, so I'm, I'm confident now to go on. We're overlanders, we're not off-roaders. Well, today we're playing off-road, and this is the reason we have a four-wheel camper can be removed. It's maybe a little bit more than what I would usually do, but it's also good to do something that takes you out of your comfort zone every now and then. This looks nasty up here. That's one of those days that you'll remember forever. Is that the hardest trail you did in the Defender? It could possibly be up there with the most uh, serious off-road trail I've ever done in my life. Hi, Lee. Hi. We made a stupid decision. <laughs> <laughs> Epic day. I can't believe the trail we just did. Definitely one of the most difficult, most challenging trails I've ever done. There must be a hundred vehicles out here in the valley. We got invited by my new hero, the owner of the 80 series and his wife and the two kids who pushed us and helped us through that, that trail in the dark. We got invited for dinner, which we're super excited about because we were starving and uh, anyway, maybe you can tell I'm, uh, my emotions are quite high. The adrenaline's still pumping. It was just insane. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Breakfast is prepared by the team leader. This meal is called Shi Fan. It is a rice porridge with fresh fish, fish cakes, ginger, black pepper, and spring onions. With more than 100 hot springs discovered, Taiwan has the highest concentration and the greatest variety of hot springs in the world. I just got told that this thermal spring is around about 50 degrees. To be sitting in something like this in the middle of the most beautiful nature you can possibly imagine is a pretty cool feeling. I can't do it. <laughs> this gentleman right here spotted something that could have been a major, major issue if we didn't spot it. Possibly I would have spotted it later when I inspected, but maybe not. The spring in the rear had actually jumped out of the, the upper housing. It shouldn't be able to happen because I've got the retention um, slings underneath there, but it did. Oh! Yeah. Ah, yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. Spotted, got the high lift jack in action and the guys have fixed the problem. <laughs>
Thank you. Today we're going for a walk to a sad hot spring. It's too hot for me. It took us three hours to reach the third hot spring, with many river crossings and rock hopping. That is bloody hot, I'm not exaggerating. Since the ancient times, the therapeutic properties of these natural resources have been recognized. Those places are very popular and a major part of the Taiwanese culture. We're at what they call number 13 hot spring now. This is like nothing I've ever seen before. Boiling, I mean boiling hot water, literally pumping out of the side of a cliff face above ground, like spurting, really, really impressive. But it's roasting hot today, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going in any uh, thermal hot spring. I'll be going straight in the cold river down below. Normally Taiwan people cook eggs in the hot spring and we call it hot spring eggs. It has a very special smell, really tasty. It's different from the from you boil egg from a normal water. 20 or 30 minutes it will be cooked. <laughs> 8 a.m. You can feel the tension. The, the track is super hard. Excitement but also nervous because it's not easy. Jimmy, doesn't it? So light. Oh. Yes. We lower and I'm going to shorten the strap. Shisha, thank you very much, gentlemen. Shisha. The cars are a little bit trouble, <laughs> and everyone's waiting for us to fix it. Yeah, it's a worry though that that's happening. I'm tightening up these retention straps because that shouldn't be able to bloody happen. That's insane. Good teamwork, we already fixed it in a really short time. Are we good to go again? Yeah, I think so. For now, anyway, Steffi, amazing spot. She saw the spring had popped out again. 
Seems like the retention straps are slipping a little bit. Usually I would use an exhaust jack, but I haven't got my exhaust jack. The high lift saved the day. I'll, uh, I'll bite my tongue on that one for now. The car is resting on the front diff. We are stuck because we cannot reverse. There is a big rock behind the rear diff, so we are sort of lifting. Okay. Oh. I am retired from rock weaving apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I slipped the rock crashed on my little finger. So I think it's quite deep. I feel pretty bloody welcome, I tell you right now. We just got snacks delivered. Instant noodles, uh, you can eat it dry. Amazing of all three. Very, very, very happy about that. Bye. Bye. For sure. And thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys again. Welcome. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Drive safe. Hello. This is a small gift for you. No, she shared, thank you. Hi, my name is A Zhan. What's your name? Hey, Tongge. Harriet. Okay. Hi. Chicken Springs is the very difficult and tough route in Taiwan. Hiking, yeah, it's fine, but the driving, no, no way. No, no, it's super tough, and these boys have also said they will not do it again. It's up there with one of the toughest tracks in Taiwan. Thank you for watching, and a huge thank you to all our Patreons. We hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you next week for some new adventures. Until then, take care. Bye bye.